I'm meteorologist Adam Stiles. We are here at uh, Tiny Flower. If you're watching our Facebook stream, uh, we put together this bouquet. We gave you the tips on how to do it, but uh, I was talking to Helen over here. She runs the shop. She said about three colors is usually what you want to do, and then you pick one feature flower, build it all around it. Now you guys are pros. You're going to kill Mother's Day. You're just going to nail it. Just make sure you get a card to go along with the flowers as well. Let's talk about what's going on here weather-wise. There are a couple of showers that we're going to be keeping an eye on that are setting up right now through the western parts of the GTA. Just a few spotty, slow-rolling showers. Those are producing a couple of millimeters of rain here, and we're going to see more of that. High pressure is going to start to build in as we get into next week, but in the meantime, it's a pretty sluggish area of low pressure that we're dealing with that's going to continue to bring us some showers. You notice temperatures are warming up around us, but the 20s, they're still sitting off toward the west, and those will be rolling into town as we make our way into next week. And I think we'll find the mid to upper 20s by the middle part of next week. Here's how things are panning out as we head over the weekend. That slow moving low pressure system slides down to the south. It is going to keep us in with those scattered slow moving showers. During the day tomorrow, we're looking at that on and off wet weather. As we head into the day on Sunday, it is looking like it is going to be uh, drying things out just a little bit. Uh, we are looking at uh, drier conditions as we head into the Mother's Day weekend. Uh, let's take a look at the Futurecast model, and what I will show you here is the fact that you do have a few of those scattered showers that are going to be lingering on. There is going to be more wet weather into the areas that don't need it, up and through the Halliburton Highlands, into the Ottawa River Valley. Uh, those spots are going to see a little bit more rain than what we're going to see here in Toronto, but we will have some on and off wet weather to contend with. Here's your forecast during the day on Sunday. For the most part, looking dry. Mix of sun and cloud into Sunday morning. Brief shower possible by midday and then starting to move out of the area. It is going to clear out as we go into the day on Monday, and we're going to get into some sunshine. Our temperatures, they are near 12 degrees here throughout the evening. Winds are out of the southeast. They're 10 to 15 kilometers per hour. Hold off on the car wash with an 8 degree start to the day and a cloudy sky. Tomorrow a high of uh, 16 in the forecast, but 14 by midday. A few peaks of sunshine coming your way. And then those afternoon showers settling in with that high uh, right around that 16 degree mark. We are looking at the seven day forecast and there is some optimism to be had. Uh, 15s and 16s over the weekend. Drier on Sunday than what we're going to see on Saturday. And then on Monday, we're looking at sunshine and a high of 19 degrees in the forecast. A couple of showers possible Tuesday into Wednesday along the warm front, but we'll go from 19 degrees on Tuesday to 27 by Wednesday. And then you've got a nice patio day coming your way on Thursday with temperatures settling in at about 26 degrees. As we get into Friday, temperatures do get back a little closer to that seasonal mark, but it looks like we are going to find ourselves with a partly cloudy sky.